crazy. Any other year? Hi, we're Nadia and Irfan, and we've travelled over 40 countries around the world. We're expecting a little pumpkin in October 2021. And what we're really excited about is this little addition joining our quest, visiting every single country. So come follow us on our journey while we travel around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shy for? I'm not shy. Welcome to this week's vlog. This vlog, we're going to show you what Flint and Fossa in 2021 is currently like at this moment in time. We are here now. Yeah, it's July. We visited the same road, stayed around here last year in August 2020, and it was absolutely dead. Like, yeah. I mean, completely dead. It's all empty. It looks so weird. No people about, none of the restaurants were open, none of the you know shops and everything were open. But this year you can see a lot more life in the place, yeah. And it's a much pleasurable place to be, yeah. And you know, it's nice when places are quiet, but it's also nice when there's a bit of life there. So, as you can see, this restaurant here, you've got a bit of vibe going on at the minute, you've got yeah. a bit of music, you've got people sitting down eating, having dinner. We actually were here for the football and it was absolutely mayhem. Oh god, yeah, the we were world. here for the finals. <laughs> Sadly, England didn't win, obviously. Yeah, as the Aussie would say, they knocked on the door. But it didn't quite come in. <laughs> they didn't come home. <laughs> um, so, so you can have that one for free, we'll give you that Yeah, we'll free. give you that one. So, yeah, literally, we're just walking down now and we are... In Spain, in general, people eat late. Yeah. It's now around 9 o'clock, the people will start coming out, as you can see. To eat the and, yeah. To get a bit full. But, Let's just show you what it looks like yeah. at this moment in time. We've got the American diner here. This is where yeah. we are. we've got the looky looking men. Yeah, selling their little wares and cares here. Yeah, so the back. guys are out. They're back again because we didn't see these guys last year, did we? Yeah, they weren't here last year. We didn't see many of them. We've seen maybe one Actually, or two in San Antonio. One or two in San Antonio walking about. Which, stay tuned because we are going to do a video on that yes. next after this. Famous sunset spot, which is beautiful. And here we've got the <laughs> Mogambos where we stayed last time. We stayed, and yeah. It looks like it's completely closed. It's going to be also a gallery, Yeah, so this is Playa Sol Mogambo, which is another one of the sister hotels that we're staying at currently, which is our garb. We stayed here like three years ago, I think. And this place is normally just literally yeah. full of people. Obviously, as you know, we are currently in. Played in Bossa and all the super clubs are now currently closed. Yeah, yeah. So you've got your bars open. Yeah, it's just the smaller bars that are open currently now. We're doing some cocktails and drinks. Usually, what you find is all these kind of little shops you see here. They have ticket selling stations where people are selling tickets yeah, to your. Tickets. Yeah, so your big tickets for um, you know High Yishwaya. All these places are are open, but nope. Not anymore. But what we have discovered is a lot of Pakistanis here in Ibiza and we actually bumped into quite a few halal restaurants and halal butchers. So I yeah, think yeah, next yeah. time we are going to get a villa, we will get a halal butchers and meat. But here is one of the gelato places. Shall we go here afterwards? We're going to get something to eat and then we're going to come here I think because it's a player de bossa tradition. Yeah. This is the position. Yeah. Here. And that's the beach we'll there. Continue walking because there's quite a lot to see on the street. And as I was talking about halal, across the road we've got the Sultan's Kebab, which is run by Pakistanis, and they are from my neck of the woods in Pakistan, <laughs> Kashmir. So big up Kashmir. We made it to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so we're gonna have something to look for something to eat. Here's a hippie market. Ah, uh, yeah, so here's a hippie market. So you see. Should we do a quick walk around? Yeah, then, let's have a little walk through the hippie market. So, yeah, hippie market. This is similar to what it was like last year. It was still open because it was outdoors. But it was just really. Like a really eerie feeling walking around because it wasn't much going on. But let's just show you what's what going it's on. Like. You've got your jewellery stands there and you've got like clothing. Yeah, little clothing stores, 
this not is as busy it because normally dead. it's literally on this side too, isn't it? Yeah. So it looks like a lot of the shop owners have not set the stores out. You've only got usually on both sides. Yeah. There's then, there's none. You've literally got the beach. This is what it's like, guys. Just look around you. Nine o'clock. Still quiet. Really quiet. But people Space about. It's a little bit different to what it has been like, but it's a much a bigger improvement compared to last year when we came in August. And. Yeah, more people about, there's few things to do, shops are open, more things in terms of like food and eating wise, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you've got like a hamburger place here, that's new. Yeah, I'm not, not seen that. that. Oh, and here's some more. And continues here and you've got the you exit. Go to this way? Yeah, we'll show you guys the beach on the way back. Yeah. This is still continuing with the hippie market and uh, I'll take you back out to the strip again. So this is something nice you can do when visiting Ibiza. We've got some really cool stuff. Mm. Most of the things here are handcrafted and are pretty cool. Because you've got nice jewellery and Ibiza is not much jewellery. Also saffron apparently. Well, Spain in general has more saffron than Ibiza. So we can go and find some. Aeroplane is going past the normal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, here's the exit. The heavy market. <laughs> and then we've got here. Let's get the jets in. Oh, the famous jet apartments. Yeah, the famous jet apartments. It looks very quiet. Yeah, it's usually. Uh, There's still a lot of availability when we were booking. Yeah. And we booked last minute. We booked on Saturday because we were meant to be going to Tenerife. But with it being on Amberlist. And us not realising. Not realising, because I always rely on my fuel the research and he basically said it was free and I believed him. Yeah, well, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we changed our plans last minute. Literally in the morning, a few hours and before. And Jet Apartments still had availability, a lot of availability. Here you've got your supermarkets. So we're going to get things. This strip here, it's normally really, really like popping and busy. You've got your bars, you've yeah. got music. Lot of things going on. I think across the road we used to have go karts. Ah, we? yeah, there was a go kart place across the road here. Yeah, so that's not there that's anymore. That's not there anymore. And then this place here was it's really quiet. Yeah, yeah. So we are gonna go that to the old famous Ushuaia now. Are we gonna go there? Yeah. Yeah, which is basically famous for ants. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, here we've got some more restaurants. Yeah, this is one of the more People famous fish in. restaurants, which is still nice. Yeah. Still very, very, still quite quiet for an very clock, quiet. Yeah. Usually, Wednesday, I remember, Wednesday. I remember in the peak season, this whole strip here, this whole road, every single bar would be full. Loads of people out, just you know, chilling, having drinks. Yeah. Um, you've got another jet apartment here too. Yeah. It's still quiet too. Still well. very quiet. So, you know, you can see no one about here. So, yeah, we had a bit of music going on there. But yeah, a little bit. I this is what it is. This is what it's like now. And. Hola. 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 We are still very friendly. Okay, so. So people about, people are smiling, workers are smiling, there's some people, are, you know, you've got tourists, it's not completely dead like it was last year, so I guess, you know, a lot of the I've workers noticed, are uh, happy. A lot of uh, Spanish people here this time, as well as British people, and surprisingly, Americans, like in our hotel. Yeah, holidaying here. Yeah. There's quite a lot of Americans, but yeah, this is a famous place, Shake. It's, it's a bit like Shake Shack, isn't it? People are queuing up here, that's how busy it is. Yeah. People like it. Yeah, it's still very, very different. To very like quiet. Well, it's normally very like, quiet and indeed. we're in July, which is like normally. This is peak season. Peak season. This is peak. This is peak, peak, peak season right now. We're in mid July, bang on, 14th of July. Yep. And look, you... this is like, it's getting a little bit quiet around this end. We've got a few restaurants here now. And this is a halal place, another halal place, which is seen quite a lot of halal places. Yeah, you got halal kebabs, wraps, chicken, 
So yeah, it's closed. But yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind eating it, but it's closed. Yeah, personal reasons. And then all these are closed. Raza, yeah. I don't know what Raza is, but Raza's closed. Another place here, which I don't know what that is. Never seen this before. This is called June's. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Have you been? No, I have not oh, indeed. It looks like a bit of a popping plate. But you get the other. Oh look, there's another kebab star. One thing they would play was in planes flying food. So this is now part of the strip I say from one of the quieter parts coming towards the end of the strip now. Which is where you've got your high Ibiza and you've got your Ushuaia and you've got all your touristy shops where you can yep. get your sort of like souvenirs and beach towels and slippers. Here on the left. And key rings. Yeah. Yeah, little bags and. Yeah, and then uh, we're nearly there, guys. I can't wait to show you this park because this is just crazy. I'm so very tired. So we've got one bar here, Zanzibar. 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 Okay, the only one with like probably about six people in it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> coming in? Oh, I was just going to say you're coming in for some drinks, but the young lady goes like. Here we go. Hi, Abisa. Look at that. These posters. These are old posters which old posters Not which were here. promoting the nights out a few years ago. Oh, and yeah, that was a water park there. Yeah. But it's all completely dead. Any any other year, this whole area would be heaving right now. Oh my with... god, full of people. People would be queuing. Yeah. Yeah, literally. To basically oh, yeah. get in. But you can see there's no one about. This is the end of the strip, guys, and yeah. completely dead. Just let me show you the entrance of the Shwaya apartment and the hotel and Ashwaya itself literally it's just I mean even that Japanese restaurant which is actually meant to be quite nice is it? It's closed. It's closed yeah. so and then you cross the road that house. That's high right there yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Empty streets. I, I don't think we've ever been any further. There's that nothing. This is just the. What, what you get now is the the highway that takes you to the airport now. From here. Yeah. Massively changed. Still COVID. It's still we're still not fully there yet, are we? Nope. And um, here we go. We've got the Ashwaya Tower and the entrance and normally you have big posters massive queues and stuff yeah big queues up here and yeah you dead? I think you can actually hear the birds I know right this is it you can actually hear the birds yeah and one thing I noticed last year is this, this uh, statue Buddha statue never noticed that ever in my life before I don't know if it's new but look at this decoration. I think it's always been there. We just it's always been covered with loads of people, look. hasn't it? Yeah, I think there's loads of people. Yeah. But this is uh, you got the Buddha, and then you got the Shwaya Tower. Yeah. This is literally we are walking in a quiet zone right now. This is so crazy, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely quiet and dead. Famous, I told you, Shwaya is famous for ants. Let me show you <laughs> an ants poster, and it's because of, it's because of these guys. First of June to 28th September is normally what happens every Saturday. Yeah, but music is the answer. But now we gotta keep our distance. <laughs> <laughs> distance. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And I never knew that the beach was just here. Last year we walked through 
the Ushuaia entrance from the beach side. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was completely dead. Yeah. And there is a steak safe. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot about it. Really? Yeah, but it's not halal, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So I think we're going to get something to eat, maybe? Yeah, we're going to get something to eat. So we'll just finish off now. Uh, we'll end the vlog here, but I want to just show you the beach entrance of Ushuaia. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed our video and it's shown you what played in Boston Strip looks like in 2021. You can agree things are not the same, things have changed. But, but it's better than last year, I would say. Compared, Much yeah, better than last year. last year. Things, it's nice to see things are picking up, businesses are opening and you've got people eating out. Yeah, Here is the beach. Is the beach. Can you buy it? It's beautiful, yeah. beautiful beach. Beautiful beach, let me get you Stunning. Lovely. Stunning, stunning. Beautiful beach. Yeah, it's just really beautiful, really quiet. And there's I the like entrance it. to Ushuaia. So guys, I just wanted to show you what it's like at night. Still very quiet, no different to what it was literally an hour, two hours ago. We're going past Swag in a second now and all the restaurants across the road that we walked past before yeah. very quiet you've just got more of a family vibe yeah. this year with kids as you can see and here is swag very different for everyone that's One. not and not made it to ibiza this year or last year or since covid this is for you guys you can live vicariously through <laughs> our vacation yeah exactly and uh, that's it so we hope this gives you a view of what IB page like this year yeah. if you're planning to come let us know drop a comment in the um, comment section below yeah please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already yeah. hit that like button so you're notified when we upload our next video and remember to always follow your vision if you're the vision <laughs> see you in the next one see you in the next one